how to use the layers in Calipay. You can find your layers at the bottom left of your interface. If you are in the left-handed interface, it's at the bottom right. If you cannot see your other layers, you can long touch and drag of the top of the layers pile. And then you can drag up and down. Here you can access the onion skin and out of pegs tab. You have your layers number here. You can add a layer here. It can be a drawing layer, a video layer, a transformation layer, a group of layers, or an audio layer. That icon here is to paste a layer. If I go there, copy and then paste, it will paste my layer. And it can be done on the same shot or in another shot. For now, that's the way you can just copy and paste layers from a shot with one size to another shot with a different size. There, I can import an image, a video, an audio file, or an image sequence by selecting a folder containing, for example, PNG files. Here, I can select all my layers. And for the example here, I will tap the menu, copy, go to another shot with a different size and ratio, and paste. And here, it pasted all my layers. The canvas color is different because I just changed it here in the canvas on my other shot. And I could do the same here to go back to a similar color. The last icon allows you to select a layer from a pixel selection. You just tap here and then tap somewhere on the canvas. Under that pixel here, I have two possibilities for my layers. And if I want to go to couleur perso, I just tap and it will fit the view to the layer I want. Double tap on the name of a layer to rename it. If the name of a layer is too long, pinch with your fingers on the name of the layer and pinch in the opposite direction so the icons come back. To move a layer, long touch on it and drag it down or up. The orange rectangle indicates where you can drop it. When you tap on a layer, it becomes the current one. That's the layer you will draw on if it's a drawing layer. To select one or several layers, Slide from outside to inside on the layers. And then you can move them all together. Or you can even add them to a transformation layer, for example. Or you can decide to create a new layers group by selecting a few layers and tapping on the group icon. A group layer in Calipeg is similar to a transformation layer. It's one layer here containing other layers. You can tap on the dash to open or close it. A group can contain other groups. And a group layer would display an overview of what's in it with the first few layers. So here I can see the first one at the top, the third one at the bottom, which is longer. You can hide or display an entire group. You can change the opacity of the whole group. You can lock and unlock it. And in the menu, you can decide to delete it, copy, lock, select all the layers within it, which allow you to quickly select all of the sheets within a group, tap anywhere to unselect layers, and sheets in the timeline. You can duplicate your group without the content to just make an empty group, or duplicate it with all the children to get two identical groups. And last, you can show only this group. In my situation here, I will delete the duplicated one and decide to delete it with the children. And here is an example of a more complex shot with different groups. So I have one with all the parts of the calendar, another one with only the rabbit, one with the character, one with the chair. And when every group is folded, it can be pretty clean in your timeline because I have 92 layers and only eight are visible. And at any point, I can just go to the window for example, open only that one and work on it. Along with the layers groups, a nice way to organize your shot in Calipeg is to use the colors of the layers. Tap on the color of a layer to enter the menu. You can see the default colors here, which you can change if you want. Here I tap on the color of the drawing. And if I put it blue, you can see here, the drawing layer will change its colors and it will be applied to all your drawing layers for which you didn't change the color. You can tap on the different colors to change the color of your layer. 
At any point, you just tap on the menu here and you can reset your default colors, but you can also add your own colors. Tap here, choose one, tap on the color label to name it, for example, character, create, and now I can tap on character and it will change my current layer to that color. I can also select several layers and change their color all at once. I can undo my colors. I can also go down and create a new list, which I can name short film, for example, and add different colors for my short film production. Currently, I'm on the library tab, and then with any of those lists, you can decide to delete for your customized list and export for every list. Here I can export it and then I can import it. And I can of course import it in a different shot. Here I will just delete. In a list of colors for your layer, you can long touch on your colors and change their order. And there you can see that we are in the library tab, which means those colors list will be shared with all your studio. And the second tab is shot. It works the same way, but it will be linked to that shot specifically. If I create a new one called anniversary for that shot, and I add different colors, I can still tap on the menu export delete. I can import from my files or from the library. Here I will duplicate the short film palette. So it's in my shot and in my library. And I can create another list, but there I will delete and delete. If I go to another shot and go to my colors, you can see that short film is here. And if I go to shot, there's nothing here yet, but I could import from the library and import my short film. And if I want my colors from anniversary, I would have to export from anniversary to my files and then import it here or just put anniversary in my library. If I export that shot as a Calipec file, it will not contain my library color list, but it will contain my shot color lists. So if I send that shot to someone when importing it in Calipec in another iPad, the shot will contain that list. Mm -hmm.